And he said that we're from the, I'm from the Turkish and Kurdish community centre called Daima. Uh, first of all, I wanted to salute your uh, uh, march today. We we'll definitely stand with you and will always will. Um, we're here today as well to actually uh, condemn the British government's uh, uh, silence on not just uh, the issue of refugees, but the censorship of media in Turkey. With um, the crushing of democracy in Turkey is one that we have never seen in our lifetime before, and it's worrying times in Turkey. Uh, our own TV station, Hayatın Sesi, is a Turkish nationwide TV station which was established uh, nine years ago, and it was the uh, voice of millions, not millionaires. Um, in Turkey, you've got many TV stations which are supported by uh, businesses, banks and so on. But this was probably one of the few stations in Turkey that was supported by the working people, that was um, presenting views of the refugees. It was trying to highlight the difficulties that the two million refugees in Turkey face. Just give you a quick uh, information about that. Uh, in Turkey, as you know, two million refugees, but their conditions aren't as great as the Turkish government make it out to be. Many of them don't have a, uh, a status in t Turkey. They are in a limbo. It is actually at the moment in Turkey, they're used as a cheap labor. Appa apparently so many children are at the, in Turkey, Syrian refugees, are being forced to work, living in really bad conditions. And that's why we're here not just to condemn the dictatorship uh, in Turkey, but we're also here to support your cause here today. Um, and one of the reasons that we were here, because in a couple of weeks ago, 23 TV stations and uh, radio stations in Turkey have been shut down. And we're here to condemn that. And we believe that the British government have been silent on this issue. Uh, it doesn't come out to con condemn what's going in, in Turkey. Um, mainly because of the shabby deal that EU and Turkey have signed, that they feel like it's necessary to, to stay quiet and allow the dictatorship regime in Turkey to uh, continue. Just before I say any more, I just wanted to talk to you a bit more about the media and freedom of expression that uh, Turkey has faced uh, and the attacks uh, the TV stations and the radio stations ha have gone through. They have been closed without any formal notice uh, because they disagree with the government, because they stand against the government. Uh, they've been ra raided uh, while being broadcasted live. It's a bit like the military in Britain raiding ITV, BBC and just ending its broadcast. That's the level of democracy that we see. An emergency state has been uh, uh, um, imposed in Turkey, which basically means that democracy is suspended in Turkey, a bit like the head of state, the queen, taking um, uh, over the parliament, making its own laws and enforcing it. That's the type of democracy that Turkey has now at the moment. And as I say, one of our own uh, TV station, which, is, which highlights or emphasizes on the labor movement in Turkey, which many of the uh, Turkish uh, mainstream media do not uh, broadcast, we did that and now we're facing the consequences. Our TV station has been closed. And our TV station didn't just um, cover the news in Turkey. It also covers international labor movement, including the developments relating to the negative effects of cuts and privatization in Britain. If our TV station was running now, tomorrow, for about half an hour on Sunday, you would have seen this um, video clip highlighted on our mainstream TV station. But unfortunately, we've been silenced, we've been cut, and we don't have a media voice in Turkey at the moment. And we'll just give you a few s stats my uh, friend here wants me to kind of highlight. About 117 journalists got arrested and prosecuted in Turkey. 200 other journalists have been taken into custody and are currently awaiting prosecution. 2,308 journalists lost their job as a result of government pressure. 775 journalist press cards were removed from them. 15 universities, 15 universities were shut down in Turkey and resulting in 65,000 students not having a university place uh, for this academic year. 1,029 schools were shut down. This is all being told to defeat the, 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 
in Turkey we just had a failed coup and that and it did fail and it deserves to be whoever tried to uh, topple the government in Turkey should be charged but the ones who wanted to put a military coup to take uh, over power in Turkey may be failed but the political coup in Turkey continues and any opposition of you including ourselves which broadcasts, which talks about the refugees in Turkey, their conditions, the workers' conditions of the Syrian children, have been censorship. And that's why we want you to stand with us, encourage the British government to condemn the, what's going on in Turkey, because the more they stay silent, the more the president of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, will crush the refugees and just use them as a workforce of cheap labor. And as long as we build our movement together, I'm sure we'll defeat it. Thanks for listening to me.